The DREAM Act is legislation that uh, we've tried to pass as part of immigration reform that says uh, uh, kids who come here to this country illegally with their parents uh, uh, and who live there essentially their uh, entire lives here, if they graduate from high school, they then can obtain uh, conditional legal status that then would allow them to go on and, and either serve in the military or uh, achieve uh, some higher education. And if they do one of those two, then they would be able to get permanent legal status and uh, be positioned where they could eventually apply for citizenship. What kind of implications do you see for the University of New Mexico in terms of the Dream Act? Uh, I think that it'll be good uh, for New Mexico, and I think it, essentially what it does is the uh, uh, University of New Mexico in particular will benefit because another provision in the DREAM Act um, says that states that uh, allow uh, in-state tuition to students that are in this circumstance uh, will not be penalized uh, as they currently are under, under federal law. Uh, New Mexico is one of those states, so I, I think this would be very helpful to the state generally and to the University of New Mexico in particular. Great, one second. Just a little bit. What's it looking like in terms of the Senate, in terms of uh, bipartisanship and actually becoming a law? Well, the bill is bipartisan. Uh, Senators Durbin and Luger are the prime co-sponsors prime co of the bill, and quite a few of us are co-sponsoring it. I am as well. Um, I think realistically it's not going to be enacted. My guess is that it's not going to be enacted until we are able to enact a broader uh, immigration reform bill. I hope that happens later this year. It's not clear exactly when it will happen. I know President Obama wants us to deal with it uh, later this year. Do you think it's a positive step towards immigration reform or is it kind of limiting the scope of potential immigration reform by limiting to students instead of the broad spectrum of Undocumented. Well, I think just given the way things get packaged in the Congress, I think our best chance of getting it passed is, is as part of larger immigration reform. And I think that's probably uh, the way we're headed. Uh, I support it either way. I support, support it as a freestanding bill. Uh, I'll support it as part of immigration reform, but uh, I think it's more likely that we'll pass it as part of immigration reform. Okay, General Ken, Kenny Martinez down at the border, he would like more uh, agents down. I was reading earlier today on, uh, on KRQE. And what does that look like in terms of the DREAM Act by uh, stepping up more enforcement and provisions against coming into the United States for undocumented citizens? I don't think it has any effect. Uh, I think uh, the DREAM Act is focused on people who have been here uh, a substantial period of time uh, and have grown up here, essentially. That, that's what it's intended to, to assist. And lastly, why do you support the DREAM Act? Well, I support the DREAM Act because I think it's uh, not only uh, the right thing to do by these uh, kids who are growing up here, who have grown up here, but it's, uh, it's good uh, for the country's economy. It makes no sense in the world for us to have kids growing up in this country, getting educated here, and then not being able to go ahead and pursue normal careers uh, because of uh, uh, their, their legal status. Great. Anything else you'd like to add? No.